Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Vegan View. So the point of the show is to share our different points of view, and while we are all friends and we share a lot of the same beliefs and opinions on a lot of things, we're also very different people as well. So today we wanted to talk about our different personalities, what makes us unique, and our different approaches to activism. I'm Danny. I'm Nisha. I'm Nicole. I'm Hannah. And this is The, the Vegan, Vegan View. View. Cheers. So I'm originally from Houston, Texas. I'm from a small town in Texas, and I now live in Los Angeles. I went to school here. I went to USC. Right on. <laughs> and I studied um, acting and film, and I am an actor right now, along with my side job, and do YouTube for fun. I started my YouTube channel to like meet more friends, <laughs> and it did just that. Both of my parents still live back at home in Texas, and they're both vegan. I don't have any babies. <laughs> furry or regular. Or I wish I had furry babies. <laughs> One day. One day. I first found Nisha's channel and I thought she was so funny. Like your mm -hmm. sense of humor is like so different than anyone else I know. Yeah. yeah. And it's so Nisha. Like I feel like yeah. that's what really makes you like stand out and like be unique. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know, I, like I feel like you are talk about really serious things on your channel mm -hmm. and like you're not afraid to like be super opinionated and tell people what you think, but at the same time you like have this sense of humor about it that like mm -hmm. makes you super likable and I think yeah, you're I think that's channel. why I love your channel. Yeah. <laughs> and you are freaking hilarious. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying really hard. So like, When I'm not hanging out with her, I'm watching her on Insta stories yeah. like every day. Yeah. Every day. On, I watch your Get it on my life. Get it on there. Things that happen. <laughs> Most of the things that you say when you're talking about something, it's never preachy. And it's always like you read something or you can like you've sent me like a study or a website or you told me about a book it's always like evidence-based and mm -hmm. it's very you always have it very um well thought out in your mind and it helps me navigate some of my own things because you've been vegan longer i think than any of us yeah right? probably three years yeah yeah, yeah. Going on my you've been vegan year. the longest <laughs> <laughs> and so there's things that i still come across where i'm like oh i don't know what i think about that this is the first time mm -hmm. thinking about it and then i talk to you about it like i remember we talked about zoos one time in the car you oh probably gosh. don't even remember yeah, no. and you I had so zoos. many things to say <laughs> so many things i could look up just on the top of your head mm -hmm. what do you think is your specific type of activism like what do you feel mm -hmm. the most passionate about well, for me, um, veganism used to be a really health-based decision because I had um, interstitial cystitis and I um, helped cure, not really cure it, but um, get out of the active phase into a remission phase by going vegan. And then I got really curious about why people are actually vegan, not for health reasons. And I researched it and I went like 100% vegan overnight from being plant-based. And I just it hit me so hard one time that like we sit down and like separate ourselves from like cruelty and we eat things that don't want to die and we don't think about it and i think there's so much injustice in our mm -hmm. society whether it's like with lgbtq rights or women's rights or for people of color and i feel like that it translates so closely but we tend to get really i don't know hurt and like too serious about it and it is a serious issue but I think it's fun and it's like exciting when you find out that you can like extend your compassion not only like past these issues but to what you eat to what you wear and like mm -hmm. how you say things so that's kind of how like I like to make it like a fun exciting silly journey instead of just like all like look at all the plants I eat you know? <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. See, so well spoken. <laughs> <laughs> but that's exactly what I like about you. You're such you have a, you kind of give people a voice or animals a voice or you're really passionate about making sure that everyone is heard and everyone's represented. So I actually grew up in Arkansas and moved to California when I was 14. So I definitely had like a different kind of upbringing, very Southern. Yeah, now I live with my boyfriend. I've been with him for nine years and we have two dogs together. They're our babies. <laughs> I started my blog in 2011. So that was before I was vegan. Um, and then once I became vegan, two and a half years ago was when I decided to make it a vegan fashion blog and only do vegan fashion because I 
had made that connection, which it took me a while at first. I was like, oh, I'm vegan because I only ate vegan food. But it really is about everything in your life. And, you know, I think everybody should take the time that they need for that. And what do I like to do in my free time? Um, when I'm not playing with my dogs, I like to do Pure Bar. That's my favorite form of workout and like addicted to it. And um, I really like to go see movies a lot. I'm like okay. obsessed with going to the movie theater. That's like my boyfriend and I's favorite thing to do. I love Hannah because Hannah is hysterical and she is such, we were saying she's a spitfire. And you wouldn't Never. necessarily know it. She's so like, I don't know, I feel like you're so cute and you're so stylish and put together. You seem like you'd be so perfect and buttoned up all the time, but you have the funniest like little one-liners all the time. Oh, thanks. And you just crack us up all the time. Yeah, and then she'll say something or on your, Insta yeah, yeah. your Instagram stories, you'll just get so like passionate about something. And I'm like, whoa, who is, and she's like this tiny, human being who's like so excited about like animal rights and animal adopt rights. not don't shop and cruelty free fashion a lot of you guys ask me about that and I direct you to her and, and makeup you know so much about yeah. cruelty free makeup and fashion oh. that's what source. I think is like so unique about Hannah is that she is a fashion blogger yeah. and a beauty blogger and she uses that as like a way to introduce people into the vegan lifestyle because People follow her because they like her outfits because she dresses super cute. And then she also like talks about like why she chooses like non leather things and then like why she chooses makeup that isn't tested on animals. And I think that that's like so important because there are so many girls who just like to follow fashion bloggers and they just like like looking at pictures of cute outfits but they don't really think about like where their clothes and their makeup is coming from. So like you're giving them that inspiration for like the really cute stuff but then you're kind of like giving them the moral like message in there too yeah. which I think is like really really powerful and really important and like oh, I nice. was like a fashion kind of person before too and then when I switched to veganism I kind of like forgot about like fashion and everything because I thought like the two couldn't really go hand in hand and then yeah. I saw Hannah's blog and Instagram and it kind of like reminded me that like oh like you still can like you know find ethically sourced like fashion and makeup and stuff and I don't think that's really cool that she does that yeah oh, thanks guys okay. so one thing that I think makes you unique is how much you love animals you talk about animal adoption do you feel like that's your specific like passion and form of activism that you want to focus on I feel like it's a mix of both like you said like I I do want to show people that like you can be vegan and like dress cute still and like have cute makeup and you don't have to like sacrifice any of that so that's something that I'm really passionate about as well it's just like normalizing things because I I feel like so many people are like, oh, I have to be a hippie to be a mm, vegan, and yeah. that's just not true. And then I am very passionate about animal rescue, and um, that was kind of like a lead into veganism for me was rescuing dogs. You've got cute puppies. I do. How I many do you have puppies. now? I have two. Two. Yeah. At any given time, I'll have a foster. I really want to get another foster, so. That's so cool that you do Maybe that. Maybe soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have been with my husband since we were in high school and I've lived in Orange County my whole life, so I'm a basic California girl. And now I have this little Bubba who's now five months old and we are raising him on a plant-based diet and hopefully gonna convince him to go vegan, but I'm gonna let him choose that if he wants to. But I'm gonna teach him all about veganism and yeah, that's kind of my story. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he, he said, said yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Friends, not food. Friends, <laughs> not food. <laughs> so something that's really interesting about Danny that when I edit, I notice all the time is that she's like so subtly funny. It's she terrible. has this. Yeah. Hilarious. And it's like <laughs> when we're talking sometimes, I don't you miss it. it. Yeah. Because she just says something and it's so incredibly <laughs> funny and like dry and she just has such a different sense of humor from me but it's so funny to mm -hmm. me Thanks. and like of course she's like this beautiful mom who's like raising a beautiful vegan child but there's like such an element to her personality that's so unique and like biting and funny and passionate that I think like is really unique about Danny.
Thanks. <laughs> that. Something I admire, and I actually, I've never told you this, but I think about Danny all the time, whether it's like <laughs> a video I saw or like, um, what, like a conversation we've had. You just have this ability to be 100% yourself in a situation. And we were just talking about it before we were rolling. Yeah. Like you are so honest and just so yourself and you don't really think about how that comes across in like a self-conscious way. I think you're just really confident and you you kind of just go with your gut in a way that's like you really trust yourself and I have to I get really in my head and really yeah. neurotic and you really inspire me to like just be myself and be proud of who I am and like just have fun like you're so much fun oh, to be around nice. all the time it's like mm-hmm. it's never like oh I'm doing out with Danny like better, <laughs> better get some energy like I need to drink coffee to like keep up with her because yeah. she's so fun oh, yeah. thanks guys you yes. nice to have like the person in the group that's just like, you guys, who cares? Yeah. Like, forget about it. She's like such a good friend. She's such a good friend. She's really the reason that we all became yeah. friends and like formed this little group. She's like the founder of the VGG. <laughs> I'm and like the mom. Yeah, you are the mom. No, but it's because you're just like such a good friend. You're such a mm-hmm. girl's girl and you're so supportive and you're so mm-hmm. like, like when we first met, I didn't have very many followers at all. And you, we were like, let's do a collab. And you didn't care that it was like, oh, I have more than you or whatever. You were just like, you seem cool. I want to hang out with you yeah and that's like just goes back to show like how you're just yeah you know, so true to yourself yeah yeah nice. so rare yeah. <laughs> I love you guys <laughs> I grew up in Florida, in Southern Florida, and uh, I'm first generation American, actually. My mom is from Norway, my dad's from Serbia, and actually when I was born, I don't know if you guys know this, I was born in Virginia and I learned to speak English from people who had really thick Southern accents. So I was like this foreigner's baby, but I had like the most thick Southern accent (laughs) ever. That's the opposite of me. Really? Oh yeah, you had, you spoke French. I spoke French first and I learned English from like the TV, so I didn't have a southern accent. That's so funny, and everyone else did. Yeah, so I had a really thick southern accent when I was a kid, and then I moved out here to LA when I was 18, and I lived in New York when I was 25 for a year, but I froze, and I moved back (laughs) because it was way too cold in New York, but I wrote for a newspaper there, and I loved it, and but I loved it here more, so now I'm back. And I had my YouTube channel before I moved to New York, but I was kind of just experimenting, doing like makeup videos and that kind of thing. And then when I moved back, I learned about veganism and then my channel just became something like totally different about like cooking and stuff. And I've always cooked, I started cooking when I was four. Um, so I always loved cooking, but outside of cooking, I also love going to the movies and this is so lame, but I love going out to restaurants yeah. and just like trying yeah. new things and like hopping. Like if you're in a cute area, I love like just, this sounds so stupid, but like my favorite hobby when I have a day off is just to like walk in a cute area and like <laughs> go in and out of shops and like maybe go see a movie, maybe go to a bookstore, maybe mm-hmm. go to a restaurant. That's like how I relax. It's my oh, favorite thing. Yeah. Exploring. What I really like about Nicole is how driven she is, and I don't know how many people know this about her, but she works full-time in addition to doing YouTube, and she still puts out the most amazing videos every single week. It literally blows my mind. I like don't know how she does it, but it's so inspiring. It's so great to have a friend that like just kills it at everything she does, because it just makes you want to be a better person, too. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's so organized, and she's, I was, like, saying earlier, like, she's, like, the elegant yeah. one, like, the eloquent speaker. I just feel like you're she's so... She's our Martha Stewart. Yeah, you are. Like, you're so likable, and your approach to veganism is just so, um, I don't know, like, soft. Warm, yeah, yeah, like, I feel like you just are, like, so inviting, and you're not... Mm-hmm. There's so many vegans out there that are very judgy or mm-hmm. you know like make this lifestyle seem like it's not approachable and I feel like you're just like come on in and join my vegan <laughs> world it's so lovely and it yeah. like makes it I don't know it's you have a really really nice approach to it and you. yeah you're and you're so creative like your recipes are always so so, so creative good. and Aww. so good and yeah, you're you still have like a good palette that you can come up with great ideas and stuff. I don't know. I feel oh, like... Danny, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> She's like looking into my eyes. So beautiful. <laughs> How do you think you try to come off or promote your certain activism styles? Well, for me, I feel like a big thing with being vegan it started with health. But I used to have an eating disorder a long time ago when I was really, really young. And I don't think you ever fully, totally get over it. It's something you just kind of manage. And when I was first introduced to veganism, it was so much about like abundance and loving your body enough to nourish your body. Mm -hmm. And that was so appealing to me. And it was like, 
something that I had to practice and get good at because I had a bad relationship with my body still. And even now, sometimes it's like a work in progress, but I really wanted to show people this thing that I found that made, that gave me a lot of peace and gave me a lot of comfort around food and helped me learn about myself and love my body in a way, like just by taking care of myself every day and that it could be easy. And I think that's kind of like what inspires me to like try to make easy recipes and affordable ones that are like you can actually do in everyday life because you're not going to do, if you're not going to do it, then it's like, you know, mm-hmm. that's so beautiful. Like, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my thing. It's like, I have a lot of passion for that because it made such a huge difference in my mm-hmm. life and still does. So. So I hope you guys enjoy getting to know all of us a little bit better. Let us know in the comments down below a little bit about you guys and let us know how you get the vegan word out there. Everyone does it in such a unique way. So we'd love to hear how you guys spread the vegan message. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Vegan View. Make sure you check back every Monday for a brand new episode. Subscribe to our channel, check out our Instagram and all of our individual channels in the description box too. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 This is our newest co-host. His name is Brody. Do you like baths? Mm-hmm. Do you like, like to mellow out in the bath? I like being in the <laughs> bath, <laughs> but I hate getting out of the bath. Why? Oh, he just, oh. he just, no, this is his new favorite he thing. Blows he bubbles. like spits, like he thinks oh. spitting is really cool. Have you guys ever tried this spitting? <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Okay, Dada. Oh. <clears throat> Bye, Brody. Dada, I'm going to be famous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>